Armenia has signed a deal with France for purchase of Caesar 155mm 52 caliber truck mounted howitzers, as the ATAG's mounted gun system is currently under trials. Indian Navy's INS Tega Naval Air Station is set to become the home base for a squadron of Rafale Marine fighter jets. The Chief of Defense Staff has released the Joint Doctrine for Cyberspace Operations which will guide commanders in conducting such operations in today's complex military operating environment. The DRDO is on the verge of testing its star supersonic target missile that promises to revolutionize the way India trains its naval crews to combat modern anti-ship missile threats. The DRDO has announced the successful design and development of a compact space-borne hyperspectral imaging payload that is slated for launch by September 2024. Turkish media has reported that the arrival of Turkey's first indigenous Altamain battle tank has caused panic amongst Greece and India. Adani Group will invest over $2 billion over the next two years in the defense sector to acquire new companies including a couple of drone tech companies in Bengaluru and Hyderabad. While the initial 15 limited series production Prachand helicopters had 45% indigenous content by value, HAL now aims to increase this figure to 55% for the 156 series production helicopters. India and the US have released a joint fact sheet which highlighted the progress on MQ-9B acquisition and the possible co-production of striker armored vehicles. Indian Navy's INS Talwar frigate has completed 21 years of glorious service to the nation today. INS Sunina has arrived at Port Victoria in Seychelles to undertake joint surveillance with the Seychelles Coast Guard. A former pilot of the Indian Air Force and military expert has said that with the Indian Air Force experiencing an urgent need for fifth-generation fighter jets, military observers in India are highly optimistic about the country's potential acquisition of Su-57 and that the prospective deal is being viewed as a win-win situation for India because the Su-57 can have great synergy with the Russian S-400 system, and the Air Force would gain a lot from the interoperability and networking compatibility between the Su-57 and the S-400. He also said, that India's rivals have already deployed stealth fighter jets, and a few of them plan to do so in the near future, while on the other hand, India's AMCA is around 15 years away from operational induction. Apart from hypersonic air-to-ground missile, the Su-57 can carry electronic equipment in its weapons bay to operate as a drone mothership, controlling highly stealthy and penetrating drones such as the S-70. According to latest information, the Cavalry derivative engine which is being designed to be equipped with a new afterburner module, has achieved a significant reduction in weight. Through meticulous engineering and innovative design, the weight of the engine along with the afterburner section has been reduced from earlier prototypes, and the current combined weight stands at approximately 1,180 kg, down from the previous 1,235 kg, and significantly less than the initial prototypes which weighed over 1,400 kg. Several factors have contributed to this remarkable weight reduction. That includes the use of newer lighter materials, new fan module, extensive modifications and optimizations in the engine core, and 90 kg weight reduction in the afterburner module. Once the development phase reaches completion, the next critical step will be the integration of the cavalry derivative engine into the Tejas aircraft for testing in real-world scenarios. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory developed advanced lightweight torpedo is set to be integrated with the P-8I maritime patrol aircraft, significantly enhancing India's aerial anti-submarine defense. The advanced lightweight torpedo is a lightweight dual-speed torpedo designed for launch from various platforms, which offers a range of 25 km at low speed of 25 knots, and 12 km at high speed of 50 knots. Today's top 3 comments.